Kia ora and welcome to a new video from NZ Pocket Guide. Today I'm going to share with you my best tips for first timers ready to take a bus tour around New Zealand. So if that's you, listen up and let's get started. All right, so the first thing that you need to keep in mind, and if you haven't booked your bus tour just yet, is that there is a lot of very different options when it comes down to bus tour in New Zealand. First up, we obviously have Coach Buses. There is an extensive network all around the country, and the main company that runs them is called Intercity. Next up, we also have Hop on Hop of Buses, which runs all around the country and offers you a little bit more flexibility than the normal bus tours. And finally, we have all-inclusive bus tours that have set itineraries and set timeframes around. There is really a lot of different options, so make sure to pick the best one for you. Next up on my list, and if that's your first time traveling in New Zealand, make sure that every single time you hop on the bus for a certain route, you ask the bus driver which is the best side of the bus to sit on for that specific days. There is going to be a lot of different sceneries and landscape that you won't want to miss, and the bus driver is used to that route, so they will know which one is the best side. Literally making a connection with the bus drivers and asking them this question every time you hop on a bus is a great way to make the most out of your bus trip around New Zealand. Next up, let's talk about making friends. Make sure that you pack yourself some snacks because, well, you'll be peckish, but it's also a great way to meet people when on a bus tour in New Zealand. Food is always a common denominator and everybody likes it. Next up on our list, and speaking of friends, is about jumping on activities. If you are doing an organized bus tour around New Zealand or a hop on hop of bus tour in New Zealand, you will have the option to jump on a lot of different activities. Making the most of them and making sure that you join your group of friends into all as many activities as possible is definitely going to enhance your experience. And this will help you make the most of your trip to New Zealand. So make sure that you budget for it, you know how much you are willing to spend on all your activities and you do as much as you can. Now next up we have a tip that is probably obvious but it's always worth saying. Don't miss the bus. Buses can be late, but you can't. They are always running on an itinerary and will leave as soon as they feel that they have waited long enough. We have seen countless amount of travelers missing the bus by only a few minutes and were not able to join back the itinerary. So make sure that you are there on time and you schedule yourself accordingly. The next tip that I have for you is all about packing for your trip in the bus. You probably will be traveling to New Zealand with a day pack as well as a suitcase. Make sure that in your day pack you always pack an extra layer. The New Zealand weather is extremely changeable and we have an expression here. We say that there is four seasons in one day and it's not just a saying, genuinely it happens. So make sure that you have an extra layer in your day pack so you can access it even if you are just inside the bus and just hopping on and off as the bus tour goes. Finally, make sure to try to charge all your devices. A lot of bus network boasts USB plugs in order for you to be able to charge all your devices, but they usually provide very small amount of powers and charge your devices very slowly. So prior to hopping on a bus, make sure that you have charged all your cameras and phones so you make the most out of your experience in the bus without running out of battery. All right, so that's everything that I have for you today. I hope that you did find it useful and there is much more for you on nzpocketguide.com. So make sure to check it out. And the whole team is joining me in wishing you the best time ever in New Zealand.